Okay, guys, I'm going to consider this a teaser. So what you're looking at is an untouched, untouched, brand new EQ Lightning Vortec head. Comes 194, 15s. It's got about a 170 cc port. It's supposed to flow to 30 and change. On my bench, we got 220. I was actually on the phone with DV today, and uh, he liked the project so much that he wants to get involved with it. So, the only thing I'm going to be showing you is this little tease now, and uh, DV is actually going to help me get my production up to speed, and uh, I'm going to record some stuff and send it to him. So, I'm kind of excited about it. Okay, just a teaser. That one's up about 20 CFM on the stalker. Okay. And the exhaust is up 35 up on the stalker. So, that was without touching the valve job at all. I have to go through and check, make sure the guides are right on the money, make sure the uh, seat concentricity is good. One thing I do have to say about these, this is the second the second uh, EQ Lightning I've ever done. The first one was at DV's shop, and uh, that was cut for 202s, 16s, and uh, first time out of the box, I got 275 on the intake, 200 on the exhaust. Uh <laughs> That's where uh, the the I coined the phrase vortex were stingy because <laughs> if you don't do that short side radius just right, it's uh, it's going to give you some trouble. This one is not really there yet. But it's coming together. I'm going to do... It had some decent amount of uh, sharp edges around uh, Around this needs to be worked on. I did a little work on the chamber. Notice the stock shape versus what it looks like now. I definitely have to... Uh, change the last the last cut I need to make the last cut bigger on both sides a little bit of deshrouding not a lot we'll see if that makes a difference I haven't I haven't floated with the, the chamber exactly the way it is right now but actually it's funny the um, first time right out of the box I, I got up to to 234 and I said man this pinch looks awfully tiny take a guess how much the pinch flowed <laughs> 234 <laughs> so I had to open the pinch already okay like I said just a teaser the pinch had to be opened uh, a decent amount right now the pinch is good for about 260 which is probably more than I'm going to bring these to. I may only bring these to about 250 because they are going to be going on a dual plane intake. And they're, they're actually set up for... Um, these are going to be going on a, a worked up 327, which will probably be 331 when it's all said and done. I don't have the entire spec of it, so it doesn't really pay to go overboard on the heads especially if DV wants to be involved with it. Uh, take a few minutes and look up an old popular mechanic, not pop, popular mechanics? Popular mechanics. Vortex Sledgehammer. It's an article from about 2006 where AA Midwest, they're actually um, recyclers, en engine recyclers, but they import these from New Zealand. And uh, we know these guys from PRI. And uh, 
the AA Midwest guys, good bunch. They they take us out to dinner, <laughs> so we have a good time. And uh, they got together with Popular Hot Rodding. They took a junk 350, gave it basically a ring re-ring job, put a set of these heads on, bone stock, and I don't even want to tell you what they were getting out of it. It was it was a really good, really good article. The cam was actually specced by by Jackie, and uh, the amount of torque and horsepower it makes for 350 was pretty amazing. So we're going to uh, the customer actually asked for 400 horsepower. So what did DV say at that point? He goes, Charlie, you're going to have to do a terrible job on those heads to only make 400 horsepower. So I like the way he thinks. <laughs> All right, guys, this will be a fun project. Uh, check back in soon. Thanks.